observations. I mean, I see a, a team that I saw a really confident team tonight. That it, may sound silly, but mm -hmm. that's how you win those games. Yeah, it was great. You know, I thought I thought our our game, to be honest, all three periods was very good, and uh, guys played extremely well. And I think one of the growths we, we've talked about a little bit is just that calm intensity down the home stretch there too, right? Because obviously they're going to press and and have a good team over there. So yeah, really composure, really good, some good confidence, get some good response at different time in the games. Just an overall really complete effort by the group. Very impressive to watch. I, impressive to me was that Tanner's goal. Mm -hmm. That was like a tabletop like, goal. Man, I, gotta, I got to slow it down to see it. it yeah, like uh, that's what he can do, right? He can put the puck away and quick release and almost similar to his shootout goal. Right, came off, uh, you know, backhand, forehand, boom, right on the, right into the, the far side there. So, big time goal to put us up two one. But you guys traded blows eight weeks ago in that first meeting that mm -hmm. went to overtime. What, what was it about that game that allowed you to, to keep your composure when, when you guys traded goals early on? Yeah, I think our group's been pretty resilient all season long. I think we've been in so many close games and so many big games that uh, you know you just really can work on your mindset on how you how you respond to certain situations. And I'm really impressed with the group there. Again, just kind of they got that one to tie it there, and it's a little bit obviously always deflating when a team scores a goal, but then boom, right back to work and we're able to get that second and third one. So yeah, the group just continues to learn and develop, and uh, you know it's it's impressive to impressive to see. And I think we always talk about, I don't know what you call it, you know, those last few minutes of each period, those are real danger zones. Mm -hmm. First period, I thought, even though you didn't get a goal out of it, mm -hmm. you really played well in those last three. And that kill mm -hmm. could have been a monster yeah. at the end of the second. That was impressive. Yeah, a really great job by the penalty kill there. And obviously going down five on three, that's a big time, uh, big time job by the penalty kill there. So, yeah, really composed, especially after giving up that first one on the power play. And, again, that's just what our group's about, man. We're just tough and and just get after it and put the work in and see what happens, you know. So it's uh, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a good ride uh, and, and nice, just cool, you know, sold out building tonight. Just, uh, you know, that was loud at the end and uh, so happy for the guys uh, to experience that. You guys are going on six wins now in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. What kind of made that change in that flip that script? Because you guys were putting some pieces together here and there, but with mm -hmm. the last six games, you have put every single piece together special teams, offensively, defensively, goaltending, what's ignited that fire? Yeah, you know what, I think just I think just staying, staying just kind of present and I know it's boring to say, but we just kind of, you know, hey, how do we get a little bit better today and how do we stay focused because there's so much noise and so much pressure and everybody has that negative voice in their head, you know, what could go wrong and, you know, what can go right? And that's what we talked about with the group a little bit today, just, you know, what can go right? Let's, let's change our, not change it, but let's have that mindset, you know, right? So I think when you're doing so many things well, um, it's just good to remind yourself how many things you're doing good. And and uh, it's been an impressive uh, season for the guys, and they just continue to get better. And, and that's the thing. We just got to keep taking the feedback from tonight and getting better and be ready for more. I didn't get to ask Austin, so I wouldn't make a fool of myself. But I felt like you might, maybe were, maybe it was circumstantial, but were you shipping some lines up a little bit? I mean, mm -hmm. so Tyler was. Yeah. Was a couple of different times, Yeah, we've had a couple of guys sick, so uh, a couple of guys couldn't go as much uh, as they would normally go in the third period there. So, yeah, guys got a lot of minutes tonight, so they got to take care of their bodies. But you know, haven't met too many hockey players that don't like more ice time. So, uh, um, but definitely, uh, definitely was a little bit shorter bench than normal. One last question: What was sure. the talk like after the game with the boys in the locker room? Yeah, they're excited. You know, I think they're excited and. Again, they're excited, but a calm excitedness, and and uh, yeah, you know what? They deserve, man. They deserve to celebrate a little bit, man. It's not an easy, not an easy league, not an easy month, not an easy year. You gotta you gotta bring it every night to be successful, and they're doing just that, and that's tough to do. So they should be really proud of themselves, and just continue to find ways to grow, and uh, um, you know they'll celebrate it here for a little bit, and then uh, get ready for tomorrow.